In today's video, I'll be showing you guys four different ways to get XP in the latest edition of Minecraft Bedrock being 1.20.73. And guys, of course, all four of these methods will work on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms, including MCPE, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Windows 10 edition. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let me explain our first one. So starting off, we have the easiest way to get XP, and that is to build yourself a fully automatic fish farm. This one is perfect for beginners as it requires little to no resources and can give you a decent amount of XP. And guys, to build this farm, all you need is three trapdoors of any kind, four signs, three chests, one hopper minecart, one normal hopper, one rail, a lava bucket, a bucket of salmon or cod. So you can do this by just having a normal bucket of water and then going into the ocean, finding yourself a salmon or cod and then right clicking it to put it in the bucket. And then you'll need four ladders and finally you'll need a fishing rod. And to start off with the build, just place down a chest like this and skip this one block and place three trapdoors like this surrounding it. Then just open up all three of them just like this. And then you're going to want to grab your fish in a bucket and place it right here. Now grab three of our signs and then place them on each side of our chest like this. And once you've placed them on all three sides, grab your water bucket and while shifting, waterlog our chest. And because of our signs, the water should stay inside just like this. Now for the next step, we have some digging. So just come right here directly in front of our chest and then dig down by four blocks. Then repeat the same for these two other blocks as well in an L pattern just like this. Then make your way down the hole and then break these two blocks and make it two blocks in as well. Now you can grab your chest and then place a double chest just like this with a hopper going to the side just like that. Now grab your rail and go ahead and place it on top of our hopper by crouching just like so and then place your hopper minecart on top. Now you're going to want to dig down a block and then break this rail. Once you're done with that, this next step is super super important and guys the next step is super super important and make sure you do it correctly. So just grab your sign and place it on a block where our hopper minecart is just like that. Once you've done that, just grab some of our dirt blocks and just place it all the way up here and just fill in that area. And now for this hole, you're just going to want to grab your ladders and just make a way out just like that. And now for the final step, all you have to do is grab your lava and place it right here. And just like that, the build is complete. And now I'll show you how you can use this farm. So all you have to do is just stand about two to three blocks away from the lava right here and take out your fishing rod. Now you're going to want to just match up your crosshair to our trapdoor like this, but make sure that you're not close enough that the hitbox is activated. So if you're this close, you can see the hitbox is activated. And if you press it now, instead make sure you're back far enough so that it's not outlined. And now all you have to do is just right click and our fishing rod is casted. Then as you guys can see, it just automatically collected our loot and gave us a whole bunch of XP. And as you guys can see, in literally two attempts and in under a few seconds, you can get a lot of XP and also a whole bunch of extra loot, such as enchanted books, food, and many, many other items. And yeah, as you guys can see, just in a couple seconds, we already got some fish and some extra items, and that's with a basic rod. And over time, you should be able to get yourself a better rod. And if you start using that one, you can get a whole lot more XP and loot. So you guys, that was the fish and loot XP farm. Now let's move on to something a bit more difficult, and that would be the mob grinder. This can help you guys get more XP and also different kinds of loot. And to build this farm, these are the items you'll need. You'll need 15 stacks of cobblestone or any block of your choice, 100 ladders, 100 trapdoors of any kind, 4 slabs, 4 hoppers, 2 chests, 2 water buckets, and about 32 torches. So yeah, go ahead and grab all these materials. And the first step in building a good mob farm is to find the correct location. And for that, I recommend you guys make your way to an ocean biome like this over here. And then with our solid blocks, just start placing them from the bottom of the ocean all the way up to 100 blocks above sea level. So for me, sea level 63 blocks so I'm just gonna build all the way up until level 163. Once you're done with that you're going to want to jump all the way down here and just start placing some ladders all the way up. And once you're back up here place two blocks to the side like this and then one block to the other side. Then just go ahead and make this platform a couple blocks bigger. I made it six blocks long so you should end up with a four by six rectangle like this. Then make your way to the other side and then break four blocks like this and then place two hoppers going into them like so. Now you can break these two blocks and then place a double chest going into our hoppers like this. Now with our solid blocks, place two on each side like this, but then for the side with the chest, place a temporary block right here, and then place in two slabs like so. Now add one more layer to these blocks, and then another temporary block, and then this time add two more slabs on top like this. Later when you stand here, you should be able to easily see our mobs. Now you can go ahead and make each one of these walls 19 more blocks tall. So in total, they should be 21 blocks tall. Once you're done with that, just come to these blocks right here, and then go out by seven more blocks. So including this block over here, that should be eight in total. 
total. Make sure to do that for all four sides. Once you're done with all four sides, place a temporary block in the corner like this, then place a block going outwards like so. Now you can make this two blocks high and just make a wall going all the way around like this. And once you're done with all four sides, it should look a little like this. Now you can grab your water buckets and then place two like this on each corner. Do that for all four sides. And when you're done, the water should flow like this. Now you can grab your trap doors and then place them along the channel like this and then open each one. Repeat that on both sides for all four channels. Once we're done with all four corners, you're just going to want to fill these platforms in so that we can have areas for the mobs to spawn. Now that our farm looks like this, you're going to want to build a wall all the way around. To do that, just go ahead and place a temporary block in any corner and then place two blocks like this. Then you can get rid of this block and make these two blocks tall. Now just go ahead and build this wall all the way across. And before we get to building the roof, if you guys want to stop any spider from spawning in this farm, you can go ahead and place trapdoors like I'm going to demonstrate right now. So just come to this corner of each one of these squares and then skip two blocks like this and then two more and then place one diagonally right there. Then all you have to do is skip two blocks to each side and then just place one like this. If you did it correctly, there should be nine trapdoors like this for each one of the squares. Repeat that for all four sides. When we're all done placing the trapdoors, we can build the roof by just placing a temporary block right here and then going up by one more block and then breaking this temporary block now all you have to do is just fill this in all the way once you're all done with that just grab some torches and then place them across the top here and just make sure that there's no dark spots once you're done just placing some torches around the place you can make your way back down to our platform and just go ahead and place some torches right here prevent any mobs from spawning on our platform and all you have to do to use this farm is come over here to our platform and just afk right here and if you guys want the best rates you're going to want to set your world to hard mode do that press escape and then go into setting and then here you can change your difficulty to hard to improve our rates and to get the xp all you have to do is wait for enough mobs to get in here once you have that just grab your sword and just swing at them once and they should die and give us the xp and their loot so yeah that was the mob grinder now moving on to one of the best farms which you can build to get xp however this one is quite a bit more difficult and that is the zero tick kelp xp farm with this farm you can get a whole bunch of levels really really quickly and you basically have to do nothing for it and to build this farm, all you need is about a stack of cobblestone, 3 redstone torches, 10 redstone dust, 1 redstone repeater, 2 sticky pistons, 2 normal pistons, 4 sand blocks, 2 chests, 4 hoppers, 2 furnaces, 4 glass panes, 2 signs of any kind, 3 levers, 2 cobblestone slabs, a bucket of water, 2 kelp, and some fuel. And once you guys have gotten all these, go ahead and grab all these items. So the first thing you guys want to do is find a location which is all inside of one chunk. So you guys can find chunks in many many different ways, but the easiest way is to download a mod pack which allows you to see chunks. So as you guys can see in the bottom right corner of my screen, I can see I can see a square that is highlighted green and that is one chunk. So just make sure that you guys build this farm inside a chunk to avoid any issues later on with the farm. Once you're all inside, go ahead and grab your solid blocks and make a T-shape just like this then knock out the center block and replace the center block with a redstone repeater like so now grab a redstone torch and place it down here and a redstone dust on the other side now you should have a super fast redstone clock so as you guys can see it's flickering on and off just like this and this is when you're going to want to grab your lever and place it right here and turn it on for now now back to your solid blocks and place three of them in a line just like this next to our redstone dust and in here you're going to want to place two more just like so and then extend out our redstone line all the way across then grab your two sticky pistons and place them on our solid blocks like this and they should extend out like so now just place some solid blocks in these four spots right here then grab your sand blocks and place two of them on the face of each piston then the other two go on top of the extended hand of each piston like so and once you're done with that you're just going to want to cover this whole thing with some cobblestone but make sure you don't place any solid blocks down here so just go ahead and place down some walls all the way around here two more blocks up here and one more right here and once you guys have enclosed this entire section place two of your cobblestone blocks up here with two normal pistons on top then all you have to do is build up the wall right here next to our pistons and make it three blocks high so just go ahead and do that on the other side as well just like this and then place two blocks right here now you're actually going to want to bring this out by one more block on either side just like so now moving on to the top section grab your two slab blocks and place them up here now you can just fill in the rest with your normal solid blocks then make your way inside this little chamber right here and place two glass panes on either side just like so and then a sign right here and on the other side as well then all you have to do is grab your water bucket and waterlog these two stairs 
and then grab your kelp blocks and place them on the sand. Now make your way outside just like this. Now we can quickly check if we did everything correctly so far. To do that, just flick this lever and as you guys can see, the kelp should instantly grow. So just turn it off for now. So then moving on to the next step, we have to connect this redstone up here to our second row of pistons. To do that, all you have to do is place a solid block right here, skip one block and place one more solid block and one more on top just like so. Now in between the gaps, you're going to want to grab your redstone torch and place them like so. The second one should be on. Now all you have to do is place a line of redstone dust on top just like this and then bring it in here and make sure to place two more on top of our slabs like this. It's actually really important you do so, if not the zero ticking will not work. So once you place down your redstone torches and your dust up here, our piston should be extended and just like that, our kelp should be broken. Now if you guys want to give it a quick test, all you have to do is turn it on like this and as you guys can see, we should get a whole lot of kelp very quickly. Now to convert all this kelp into XP, all you have to do is grab your two furnaces and then place them on the sand block right here. Then with your hopper, just shift click them on top of our furnaces like so. And guys, because of this glass Pain, the kelp will automatically get sucked up by the hoppers and then be delivered into our furnace. Now to remove the kelp from inside the furnace, all you have to do is place down a double chest down here, then grab your remaining two hoppers and while crouching, place down the remaining two going into our chest like so. And now for the final step, all you have to do is grab your levers and then place them on the face of each furnace like so. And that should actually be the farm complete. Now I'll show you how you can use it to get XP. And now to use this farm, all you have to do is grab some fuel source right here and I'm using blocks of coals for now and place them into each one of our furnaces. And then once you've done that, all you have to do is turn on the farm like this and wait for the kelp to be automatically broken and then enter our furnace and just like that, our furnaces should light up. And now all we have to do is just AFK right here until we get a lot of these dried kelps in our chest. And obviously the longer you wait, the more XP you'll get. And now to get the XP out of this furnace, all you have to do is lock them up like that by flicking the lever and then opening up our furnace and then taking the remaining dried kelp out and just like that. As you guys can see, we got some levels. If you do it from the other one, two, we're almost up to level one. And that is from just about a stack of these dried kelp. And if you guys want to get a lot of XP, all you have to do is just extend out this furnace array so you can get more XP. Because as you guys can see, there's still a lot of kelp up there. So having more furnaces, you'll just get more XP. And if you guys want them to smelt faster and get more XP, replace these furnaces with smokers and that will get you a lot more as well. So if you guys are able to AFK for like an hour, you'll get a lot more dried kelp and you'll get a lot more XP back. And guys, you don't have to worry about fuel because you can just use these dried kelp blocks as fuel source. As you guys can get these dried kelp blocks by just putting nine of these dried kelp on the crafting table. And this dried kelp block is actually a really good source of fuel. So as you guys can see, if I take out this block of coal and just replace it with dried kelp blocks, it will continue to burn. And this dried kelp block will actually burn a lot of kelp and get you a lot of XP. And now let's move on to the last and best way to get XP in Minecraft Bedrock. And that would be this super, super easy XP glitch. And to do this glitch, all you'll need is one stack plus one of Bodlo enchanting. So you can actually get a lot of these by trading with villagers or looting pillager outposts. So once you have all those, you'll also need 35 temporary blocks. These can be any blocks of your choice, but you'll need 35 of them. So for me, I'll just be using dirt. So once you have everything, all you have to do is grab these dirt blocks and just fill out your inventory just like this. And then in the last one, just place down two, just like that. Now go ahead and select the extra Bodlo enchanting we have and then drop it down like that. And then open up your inventory again and spread this dirt block like this. So our inventory is completely full. Now you can hover over the item that we just threw down, press E, and then now this step is very, very important. You guys are going to want to pick up this stack of Bodlo enchantings and then instantly escape out of this menu. So you're going to want to do that really quick like that. So that actually didn't work. Let's try that again. So you're actually going to want to be really, really fast just like that. And as you guys can see, this stack of items is nowhere to be seen. And once you get that to work, all you're going to want to do is press escape and save and quit and then just reopen your world. Once you've done that, you should have a stack of items in your hotbar. And if you press E, boom, just like that, you have another stack selected. Then all you have to do is just place it down and place your dirt. And you guys can actually repeat this as many times as you want. All you have to do now, remove 63 of these extra bottles and just repeat what we did just now. And then guys, that's it. That was the best method right there at the end. So yeah, those were the four best ways to get XP in the latest edition of Minecraft Bedrock.